Portsmouth News, Saturday, March the 1st, 2014. Part 2. There is a strong message of hope, of deliverance, that life can end well. Even though I got involved with crime, I want good to come out of it. I want to teach people not to mock religion too. Look at how many people benefit from it. I'm only telling my story because I want good to come out of it. I'm not doing it to tell of my life because it's rubbish. There is no benefit in crime. There's no glory. You end up in jail and once you've got a criminal record it's with you for the rest of your life. Looking back at the moment which changed his life and has led to the opera Dave says, I gave LSD to four of my mates who are all dead now and we went to see Easy Rider at the Old Odeon in Aylesbury. I got the horrors and paranoia and was frightened of killing myself. I cried out asking Jesus to help me. All of a sudden peace came upon me. I heard his voice speak to me saying, I am with you. You have been searching for a long time. What you have been going through is nothing compared to what hell is like. I turned my life around that night and wanted to help my friends. The writer hopes that seeing actors perform his story would appeal to a wider audience. He continues, there are ways for people to turn their lives around but they need help. I realise that people simply do not read books because they are not a quick fix. I didn't know how to get the story out but then I decided to turn it into a punk opera. After the 1970 conversion it took Dave a year to explain and confess his story to the police when he admitted to three years of undetected crime, drug dealing when he handed himself over to the police. But when he appeared at the magistrate's court on the 9th of February 1971 to answer the details of his 24 crimes the local newspaper headline ran converted on LSD trip and reported the multiple crimes for which he was not sentenced. It is a coverage of this court case which gives the book its title along with 12 key stages in his journey from crime to conversion and preacher a 48 foot by 24 foot builder's shed, several cars, a road trailer and speedboat engines, garage equipment and the refusal of the former Fair and Courage principal from writing a forward to his book. Dave says punk itself is a means of communication and it's underestimated so I look at it really like a punk machine and a stage where we perform is like a pulpit and we teach through the music. It's a means of expressing emotion a means of release when you're pent up and screwed up but punk is a means of expressing that. After the premiere of Borstelboy at King's Theatre next month Dave hopes it will be performed in the prisons around the country. After his conversion Dave became a preacher and all but lost touch with his brother but in 1996 he heard via a news bulletin that Michael his brother had been arrested in the Philippines and later sentenced to a 16 year prison sentence. Not wanting to give up on his brother, Dave travelled to the Philippines and helped his jailed sibling have his own religious awakening. The pair then told their story to hundreds of inmates and they wrote their joint book Trojan Warriors which has been distributed in prisons worldwide. He says his brother died of tuberculosis the year of his release. The only consolation for me was that he had that life turnaround just like myself.